So for f of x, it's equaling the root of x squared minus 9 is due to the domain. So you got to have x squared minus 9 it must be greater than or equal to 0. So in fact, there's a difference of squares. 9 is 3 squares. So you're going to have x minus 3 and then x plus 3 must be greater than or equal to 0. Make a number line here. The opposite of negative 3, positive 3. The opposite of neg positive 3, negative 3. All right, and then this is negative infinity. This here is positive infinity. Then you just have to check around these. So for example, choose negative 4 right here. So you plug it into this expression. So negative 4 squared minus 9 is this greater than or equal to 0. When I check that, so this is 16 minus 9 greater than or equal to 0. That's t for true. Choose 0 from here. So 0 squared minus 9 greater than or equal to 0. Well, negative 9 greater than or equal to 0. That's false. So, so far, this part of it is okay. Negative infinity up to negative 3 here. I'm just trying to shade that. Okay. And then you choose 4, for example. So, 4 squared minus 9 is greater than or equal to 0. So, this is 16 minus 9 is greater than or equal to 0. That's certainly true. The number itself doesn't matter. So, it means everything from positive 3 to positive infinity also works. So, now let's make this an interval notation. So, you begin at negative infinity. So, negative infinity comma you go over to negative three but it's included so it's a bracket then you skip over you resume at positive three so u for union bracket positive three comma positive infinity and then terminate with the matching parentheses leave a like if it's helpful